Hello everyone, welcome back. WBS 2023 brought to you from the Yoyogi National Gymnasium number two in Tokyo, Japan. Welcome uh, watchers and listeners from around the world. Nice to have you here. Uh, we've had an exciting first day of the tournament and I'll be your host for the final game today, the fourth game. My name is DJ John. Nice to have you all here. Welcome. So uh, yes, final game, game four of the first day and uh, we've had some really interesting kind of matches. Uh, we started the day with Tokai University facing NCCU, uh, which won the game 81 to 73 over Tokai, the local Tokai University uh, um, team. And then uh, Korea and Radford, uh, Radford, Virginia beat the Korea team 100 to 63. Then we just finished game three, Hakko University from Japan against uh, Perbanas. Uh, the uh, Rhinos from Indonesia with Hakuo University taking it 97 to 49. So welcome once again, nice to have you all here. You see the results right there in front of you. And uh, we will be here tomorrow and Sunday for some exciting World University basketball. So once again, nice to have you here. Now uh, we're going to uh, get into game four and we have the uh, University of Sydney Flames from Australia and the Ateneo de Manila University uh, Blue Eagles. So uh, now here's the uh, tournament as it looks uh, right now. And uh, you can see the, uh, the spread and the uh, matchups. And uh, yeah, game four right now, the University of Sydney and Ateneo de Manila University coming right up. So some of these matchups will continue tomorrow. And then once again, like I said, on Sunday, we will have the finals. So please join us every day. If you're in the Tokyo area, come see us. Um, a lot of you who've been to Tokyo know we are located right up the hill from Shibuya. And then if you just go down the other side, you go right into uh, Harajuku and Omotosan. Uh, we're right in the uh, heart of Tokyo in this part of town. And there's a lot of uh, interesting places to see and go and eat. So uh, come out and see us. We'd love to have you here. Besides, it's sweltering hot and steamy outside. So you want to be in here checking things out anyway. Time for the roster. University of Sydney. You see it on the screen there. And uh, some hot, hot players right now. Uh, especially watch out for Robbie Moore, number 11. Uh, he's one of the uh, players to watch out for. As well as number 12, Matthew Wacha. Um, and uh, he's 190 centimeters, the point guard, and uh, he's a performer as well. So uh, got a couple of key players to keep an eye on. Uh, very, very strong team, very tall team. And uh, we'll see how they match up with the Blue Eagles from Manila. And uh, coming up with the uh, roster for the uh, Manila University team, the Blue Eagles coming up. Uh, right now we see the uh, coach, Tom Garlip, for the uh, University of Sydney team. So we'll see what kind of strategy he has for his team uh, facing uh, the Manila, uh, Ateneo Philippines uh, team, uh, Ateneo de Manila. And here's the lineup. And some key players there as well, especially number one, Kai Balunge. He's an excellent uh, performer. Uh, power forward at 196 centimeters. You see some of the uh, heights there, and it's going to be a good matchup with Australia. Some of the starters will be um, uh, Gio Chu, uh, Gab Gomez, Jason Grito are going to be some of the starters uh, of this game. So uh, please uh, keep an eye out for them as well. So this looks to be a really, really interesting matchup. and could be a very, very good game. Uh, so stay with us uh, until the end. We just got uh, to get ready to get started here. Game four, day one of the WUES. And we see uh, he's kind of uh, submitting some maybe paperwork, but the head coach for the uh, Blue Eagles tab, Baldwin, um, he's uh, an American with a proven track record, uh, track record of coaching Philippine national team. And uh, that was the uh, head coach for the Philippine team. So welcome to these teams and all the other teams who've come from abroad to Tokyo for the WUBS Series 2023. Brought to you by Sun Carrera and uh, Rock 10 Channel is where you're watching us right now. And uh, so we're getting ready for a tip off in uh, just a very short time. Uh, so stay with us until the end. It's all about basketball right now in Tokyo. We have the uh, World Cup of Basketball coming up end of the month. So uh, this is a nice uh, preliminary warm up if you would like uh, to watch some of the uh, best university uh, matchups from around the world. 
And of course, uh, you know, with the uh, ease of uh, COVID restrictions entering the country, where Tokyo is once again just jamming and busy, and everybody loves to come to Tokyo. Um, if you are here in town, like I said, come see us. Um, if you haven't come, then please come visit us. Uh, maybe I will wait a couple of months because it is extremely hot and humid here. We're reaching uh, anywhere from 35 all the way up to uh, 30 or 39, near 40, but it's very humid here in town. We have a, actually a typhoon coming to see us. So, uh, yeah, be careful if you're uh, here in Tokyo. But right now it's all about base, uh, basketball. So um, let's continue now. Like I said, the University of Sydney Australia Flames with a very, very uh, tight team. And uh, we'll see how their coaching uh, is going to uh, you know, face the Philippine team. So the Philippine team uh, last season, the UAAP 85, uh, they succeeded in reclaiming the title by coming from behind winning games two and three against the University of the Philippines, uh, which they lost in the 84, uh, 2024 finals. Uh, I'm sorry, the 84 finals. So uh, this is uh, for the coach, fourth title in six years. And uh, like I said, uh, Balunge is, uh, Kai Balunge is expected to lead the team again this season. Uh, he's a very, very uh, good performer, averaging 16.1 points and nine rebounds. So he's uh, very strong on both sides of the uh, basket and court. And uh, Coach Baldwin, so uh, he's uh, very, very happy to come back and uh, you know represent not only the country but the school as well. So now we're getting ready to uh, come out with the uh, starting roster and uh, the start of the game very shortly. And then uh, we'll get started with game four, day one, here in uh, Tokyo with WBS Series 2023. And right now, uh, they're going to introduce the referees. Uh, right now, the head coach for uh, Sydney is being introduced, head coach Tom Garlip. There he is, giving us some final instructions to his team. And then I think we will uh, go move over to the uh, there is the coach of the uh, Philippine team uh, of Ateneo. Uh, they're the uh, Blue Eagles. And there he is. You see him uh, giving final instructions. Tab Baldwin, uh, the uh, American coach for the Philippines team. Nice to have him over there, the team as well. Giving the final instructions to their players. I mean, get ready to start game four, WBS Series 2023. Nice to have you all here. Let's get started. And right now, the referees are being introduced before we come out with the starting roster of both of the teams. Good crowd once again. Uh, it's just about dinner time here in Tokyo, six, uh, approaching 6.30 p.m. And here we go with the starting lineup for both teams. Starting with the Sydney team. So 
that'll be Cambo Green, number 21, facing up to Geo 2. And there he goes. And it goes to the Philippines. Passing it up to number seven, uh, Credo. Goes to Bongo, the forward, the duck, into the uh, and the duck missiles, bounces off the rim. Sydney bringing it up quickly to number 12, three pointer shot off the, off the rim. And now the Philippines bring it back very quickly as well. So it looks like a couple of very quick teams, fast teams, uh, bringing the ball down the court. And now they're getting sent up to uh, make a play. Uh, passes it in to the lane to number three. And then back out to the three point area. Open man. Three point shot misses off the rim. That's Alunge with a miss for the Philippines. So Yung works it around and uh, drives in by Robbie Moore, which uh, comes off the rim. Yeah, Gomez takes it and feeds it to Andrew Bongo of the Philippines. And there's a foul. Number 11, Robbie Moore with a foul. Charged with the foul. The nail bringing it in is Jason Crito. Gets it back, works it around. Shot by Crito. It's good. Two points, Jason Crito. Making the first points of the game. 2 0 Philippines at the nail. Now Mike Yim is working the ball, passes it off. To Green inside. Tries to put up a layup shot by Missler. Stepping up, bringing it back. That's Gomez. Three-point area. Leads it to Balunga. Balunga at the baseline now. Leads it to Credo. Tries to drive it in. And that was Chu trying to get the uh, rebound in East Valley. Balunga, and that's a two-shot uh, foul. Foul by uh, number 11 Moore of Sydney and Chu Geo taking a foul shot. First one is good. Three zip at the nail over Sydney. One shot. Final shot. Good, making it 4-0 at the nail over Sydney. 757 to go in the first quarter. And now Sydney drive it in. Puts it up and it's off the rim. So, uh, Mikey Yu trying to uh, work it in. Oh, it and once again, that was uh, Jason Crito with the three-point off the baseline. Tyler Sydney. 7-0, Philippines over Sydney. The Blue Flames uh, coming out strong with 7.41 left in the first quarter. So very fast-paced game to start. But uh, right now, uh, the Blue, F Blue Eagles are scoring all the points, but it's only uh, a seven-point differential, 7-0. 7 7.41 remaining in the first quarter as a timeout is called by Sydney. So, yeah, some of the expected performers are performing, uh, especially uh, looking at uh, the um, Kai Balunge of the, the Philippines. The Blue Eagles uh, scoring some points early. But, uh, yeah, good timeout call by uh, Sydney. Not a good start, 7-zip uh, in the initial stages of the, of the first quarter of the final game here today. And now we're back. 
Australia will inbound it. Just a light one man press at this point of the game. Watch your wound, moves it over to uh, Smith, who takes a uh, baseline three point attempt, misses. And Watcher uh, gets the rebound, tries to put it up, and he's fouled. And he's fouled by number 18, Gio, uh, of the Philippines. And this is a two shot foul. First shot, good. So now Sydney's on board finally, 7 1. Second shot coming up. Number 12, Michael Wacha, one of the players to look out for on the Sydney team. Bounces off the rim, and Philippines recovers the rebound. Light press uh, by the half court line by Sydney. Looking around to Gomez. Top of the uh, three point area, takes a three point shot, and it's good! over Sydney. Sydney brings it back. And he drives in for a layup, and it's good. Chris Kawacha, once again, the man. Philippines with the ball now. To the center, feeds it to Kirill. And the center fails, Sydney back quickly. And drives him from the baseline, feeds it. This is the layup. Campbell, the center. This is the layup. And Sydney uh, will bring the ball in under their basket. Nice inside pass, and he's fouled. Tried to feed it to uh, Mitch Smith, and he's fouled underneath. Foul by number three, Bongo. Two shot foul coming up. Two shot. And Mitch Smith settles in for his first shot, and it's good. 10 5, 10 4, Philippines in the lead. 6.26 remaining in the first quarter. Final shot, second shot. And it's also good. Ten five. That's a nail the Philippines, 10, Sydney, 5. And Fredo brings it down. He's uh, been guarded very tightly, but he slips. Feeds it to number three on the baseline. And Gio takes the three-point shot. Oh, and it's in and out of the basket. They recover the ball, and... Kind of okay. Drops it in for a two-point. 12-5. Feeds it off to Josh Payne. Good beans with the ball now. Trying to find the open man. Gio back to drive him, but it's stolen. Sydney now coming back quickly. Mike Yoon bringing the ball in. Three point shot again off the rim. And Sydney recovers. Feeds it to number 14, top of the key. And he grabs in for a layup and he's fouled. This is the layup. So it looks like it was fouled by Grim, number seven of the Philippines. And there's a couple of substitutions as well. So Mitch Smith was fouled underneath, and he's going to take the foul shot. Number 25, Joe Obasa comes in for the Philippines. Two shot foul shot coming up. First shot. First shot off the rim. Switch the shot off. Get this shot. Yeah, I got you. One shot. Final shot. Philippines still in the lead. 
So he's slowly catching up. And there's a press. But he brings it over half court line. And feeds it to Jason Cordo. Geo breaks free. Feeds it to Malunge. And Gomez taking a shot. And it falls out of the back. So he's coming back quickly. Open man underneath, but the pass doesn't get to him. And, oh, bad pass. So Matthew Watson tried to bring it in, but then it was uh, thrown out of bounds. Substitution for the Philippines. Number 23, Lerone Nieto, is back, uh, in for the Philippines as a substitution. And Sydney will bring it in. And the Philippines steals the ball, the inbound. He drives it in and lays it up, but misses the shot. This is Credo. Quick pass for a fast break. And the team split, jumps it for two points, making it 12 10 Sydney. So they've caught up with 4.33 left in the first quarter. Philippines with the ball again, over the half court line. And Romito uh, brings it underneath. The shot is up and it misses, bounces off the rim. Sydney again brings it quickly back down. And Joshua Payne is fouled by number 10, Sean Toronto. He can drive underneath, but he's fouled before he can make the layup. First shot good, making it 12-11. Final shot by Joshua Payne, number six. Second shot bounces off the rim. Goes to the Philippines now. They're bringing it down. Quickly bringing it down. 23 LeBron Nieto. So LeBron Nieto was fouled by Mikey Young. Campbell Green, the center, comes in. One shot foul. Lorenzo makes the foul shot, making it 15-11 the Philippines. Sydney brings the ball down. That's Matthew Watson bringing it down. Feeds it to the baseline for a two-point attempt. Off the rim, no good. Sydney gets a rebound. They still have position of the ball. Driving in, finds the man outside. Number 12, Watcher. He feeds it again. Back out to the three-point line. Takes a three-point shot, and it's off the rim. Philippines get the rebound, working it. Fast break down court, and feeds to number 23, who's open. We're going to get a three-point shot, and it's missed, but there's a foul. Uh, so fouled by Campbell Green, number 21. Philippines will bring it inbound uh, underneath the basket. Feeds it out to Chris Kuhn. Shot by 21, a three-point attempt by Amos. And it's off the rim. Sydney brings it down quickly. Driving in for a layup. That misses for the rock the rim. Now the Philippines are bringing it back quickly. Three-point shot, open, baseline, off the rim. Rebounds. Fifth Philippines, rebound Philippines again, and it's in. Mason Amos, number 21. He's a 198 centimeter forward for the Philippines. The Philippines getting ready for another uh, substitute. Two point attempt misses by Sydney. Philippines back. They're getting back quickly. 
before Sydney has a chance to completely get set up, and now they're uh, set up and waiting for Philippines, who breaks in for a uh, layup underneath that misses. 2.17 left in the first quarter, 17 and 11. Philippines in the lead. Sydney uh, trying to get some more points back. Number seven watcher is working it. Mikey Young was uh, trying to find an open man. He tries to drive it in, but he's fouled. So Mikey Young uh, fouled by LeBron Nieto, number 23 in the Philippines. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Ateneo 17, Sydney 11. And here's the foul shot, and it's good. Second shot coming up. One shot. Now Mikey Young can score some three-pointers, so he's another uh, player for Sydney to keep an eye on. And the second shot goes in, making it 17-13 for two minutes left in the first quarter. Final game today, the fourth game, WUBS 2023. Philippines inbounded. Over the half court line. Passes it to Cooney. Back out to Cooney. The baseline drives in. Layup, but he's fouled. Nope, he's in a foul. The ball's turned over to Sydney. Woodcock will inbound it. He's a Drives it in, feeds it, bad pass, but Sydney recovers. They managed to retain possession of the ball. Shot clock is coming down. Grabs it for a layup that misses. And here comes the Philippines, one on one. Good steal by Sydney, but Philippines retain it and they get the lead. 17-13. So Yoon once again uh, works the ball in, drives it in, finds an open man inside, back pass, goes back to Sydney. And Yoon comes in a three pointer. Make it 17 16, one point game with one minute left in the first quarter. We have a good game here on our hands, folks. And that's Chris Boone on the uh, perimeter. Feeds it to number three. He takes the shot. Gets the rebound. And it looks like he's fouled with a good layup. Number 21. Mason Davis. So the point did count on 21. And a foul shot coming up with uh, a couple of substitutions by Sydney. The Flames. One, one shot foul coming up. Mesa Amos, number 21. There's the foul shot, and it's in and out. But, oh, they get the rebound, and missed the layup. Sydney gets it. Mikey uh, works it down quickly, but uh, giving it enough time for the Philippines to set up. Three-point shot, and it's off the rim. Philippines now working it back down for quickly. Oh, and he feeds it to the ref. Uh, ball passed out of bounds by Chris Coon. Another substitution for Sydney, uh, who's going to bring the uh, ball in. And that'll be Robbie Moore bringing the ball in. And a substitution for Ateneo as well. Sydney inbounds. Feeds it to Siva. Back to Moore, who's looking it in. Trying to find an open man. Half court line. Can't drive him. Can't find a man. Shot clock at 10 seconds. He's driving into the lane, finds a baseline open. And a three-point attempt. Misses by Joshua Payne. Philippines back quickly. And on the buzzer, three-point attempt misses. And that's the first one. Uh, Ateneo from the Philippines over Sydney. 
So fast-paced game first quarter. Now, seen a little bit of some sloppy passes from both sides, and I think that's just because of the fast pace. And they're both trying to uh, tire the other opponent out with their fast breaks. We've seen a lot of uh, three-point misses, although both teams have uh, players who can score these three-pointers, especially Mikey Yoon from the Philippines and uh, Kai Balunge of, uh, of the Philippines and uh, Mikey Yoon of Australia are both known for their three-point abilities. So, uh, We'll see how that goes. Kai Balunye not only is a, is a top scorer, but he's also a top rebounder as well. So he's one of the players who are really looking out for uh, the power forward for the New Eagles at 196 centimeters at Cachanel de Manila University uh, Blue Eagles. Blue Eagles in the white, Sydney uh, Flames in the blue. So right now, uh, end of the first quarter, Ateneo 21, Sydney at 16. Looking at some of the uh, scorers here, number seven, Fredo uh, with five points, and number 21, Amos with four. And then for Sydney, Michael Jung with Mikey Jung with five, and Mitchell Smith with five. Josh Payne with three. Matthew Luckier at this point with three points. All right, we're getting ready to start the second quarter. Game four, day one, WBS Series 2023. Thanks for uh, being with us. Nice to have you here. And Sydney will bring the ball in. Getting some press from the Philippines. Number 12, Watcher. More foul by Garcia. Moore brings it in. He did the Watcher. They're whipping the ball around. Feeds it to Payne, who takes a three-point shot off the rim. They get the rebound, and he's fouled. Out of bounds, out of bounds, no foul. Out of bounds. So it'll be Ateneo ball. Ateneo brings it in back. Gomez brings it up. Feeds it to Coon. Back to Coon. Works it inside. Drives in, misses the layup, gets the rebound, and makes the layup from the rebound. Super brings it back quickly. Number 12 drives in all the way. That pass goes out to the baseline. Once again to the baseline, working it around the perimeter. Got a man open up the baseline for a three-pointer, and it's good. Robbie Moore, number 11 on Sydney. Towards the three pointer, making it 23 19. Philippines still in the lead. Ateneo is still in the lead. That's Garcia at the top of the key. Pizzit 2 2 and takes a three point shot. It's good. Ateneo 26 Sydney 19. Eight minutes left in the second quarter. Sydney drives it in and makes it over the Good job, Matthew. Watch out. Ateneo now bringing it back in. That's Gomez with the ball. Passes it to Kuhn. Kuhn trying to find an open man. Feeds it underneath. Back out to Kuhn at the three-point line. Feeds it inside. Misses the layup. And we have a foul. So they were trying to get the ball into the center. Obasa, number 25. And we have a substitution for Sydney. Hey, I got 20. 
And Ateneo will inbound it. Throws it out to Kuhn. Top of the three-pointer, takes the shot, and it's good! Oh, 21-7.55 left in the second quarter. And Sydney is working it around the perimeter, trying to drive it inside. Go, 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 go. Ateneo gets the ball back. Tries to pass straight, but Sydney gets back in time to set up the defense. Ball's by the Coon. Feeds it inside to Obasa. This is a layup. And that's Ateneo ball. They get the ball back underneath. We have a timeout, Sydney. 7.24 left in the second quarter. 29 Ateneo, 21 Sydney. Eight point difference. So things were getting a little quick but sloppy on Sydney's side. So maybe uh, the coach decided to take a, a timeout, settle the guys down. They're both playing a very quick and fast game. Let's watch a little re rerun of the uh, three-point shot there. Jason Kuhn. 193 centimeters. He's a senior at the uh, University at the Nail Villa. Ford. And that's it for the timeout. Players are coming back out on the court. 7.24 left in the first half. 29-24 at the Nail, the lead over Sydney. Ateneo making some, some key shots in the uh, first half. And they're keeping up with the uh, quick pace of the Sydney team. Now, once again, this will be inbound by Ateneo. Out to two, number six. Out by three point line, he drives in, takes a shot, but no good. Sydney gets the rebound, fast break, one man. Oh, feeds it out for a three pointer. And it's off the rim, no good. Ethanel gets the rebound. Fast breaking back. Close it down. Sydney's back to set up the defense. Kuhn now is going to set it up in the perimeter. Feeds it to number 13. That's Gomez out of the three point line, into the foul line, and feeds it in beautifully to number 25, Obasa, who comes up with another one. 205 centimeters center for Ateneo. 31, 21, 10 point difference. 643 left. First quarter, first half. And Sydney. And that was Watu kind of working in. Bad pass. But Sydney retains the ball. Last touch by Ateneo. And Mikey Yoon will bring it in. Substitutions for Ateneo. Bringing in two players. Remaining six minutes in the first half. And Sydney inbounds it. Feeds it to Mike Mitch Smith, who's wide open underneath for two points. 31 23 at the end of the lead. At the nail now, at four line, looking around the perimeter. And by the time it's open. Jason Crito with a three-pointer, 34-23 at the end of the year with uh, six minutes left in the first half. Sydney now with the ball in the perimeter. Robbie Moore works it around. He gets to Smith. And that's a traveling touchdown. Ball goes to Ateneo. So we're seeing a lot of turnovers this, uh, this, this game. The nail feeds it. The balloon gets inside. Oh. Misses. 
committed to foul. So it's Wacha, he'll take a two shot foul. First shot good. Final shot, Sydney Wacha, Sydney taking a foul shot. Shot misses, they're scrambling for the ball. Sydney comes up with it, drives in, misses the layup. At the nose, gets the ball, fast breaking down. Three on two. Oh, yeah! And he hits the foul. Oh, yeah. And that's a charging Ooh. foul on Ateneo, GO2, number 18. Mason Amos. And it's a substitution for Ateneo. Mason Amos, number 21, coming into the game for Ateneo. Sydney now with the ball, breaking it into the perimeter. The uh, attempted pass is blocked by uh, Ateneo. He drives it all the way in for a layup. Young. 36-24, 4 minutes and 40 left in the half. Sitting with the ball. Passes it to Matthew Wachow. This is the shot. At the end of the ball again. And attempted steal. Steal with Sydney. There's Wachow at the three point line with the shot. And it's off the rim. Sydney gets the rebound. Still misses. Still gets the rebound. Robbie Moore working it in. Drop pass, Ateneo. Long pass, too long. And it goes out of bounds. Oh. Luckily, still Ateneo ball. Four minutes left in the half. 36 Ateneo, Sydney 24. Substitution for Sydney. And Joshua Payne, number six, is back in the game. Ateneo now working the perimeter, number seven. Sydney with the perimeter, there's a three-point attempt off the rim. Nobody underneath but Ateneo to get the rebound. Garcia gets the ball. He's up to go, man. We're going to perimeter, three-point line. So Ateneo's uh, playing a good, patient game, finding the open man. Three points down, and that is good. 22-24, Ateneo. Three-point shot by Balunge, Kai Balunge. Mikey, you kind of get something going. Beats it to pain. Looks it in, and drives it for a two-point layup, and he's fouled. Foul by Jason Credo of Ateneo. Everybody hangs down, makes the layup. One shot. One shot. 42 26 Ateneo. 16 point lead over Sydney. Three minutes left in the first half. And there's the shot. It's off the rim. Sydney recovers. Another shot. It's uh, bad off the back of the rim. driving down. Still looking at the perimeter. Looking for an open man. Passes it inside. Open man outside. Drives in. Passes it back out. Number seven wide open for a three point shot. That falls short. 
Jimmy Crater was open, but his shot didn't quite make it. Sydney is going to bring it in. Smith bringing it in to Mikey Young. Man. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Driving in for a lay. Oh, and it's not good. Randy Moore. Comes up with two more for Sydney. At the nail ball now. They're leaving the lane open for somebody to find a spot to drive in. There's a three point attempt that misses. And at the nail, it's possession. One, 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 so Kyle Gamber will inbound it. Gets the ball back, passes it in. And Moore takes the drive in the but passes it on. Here's a layup by Pink by Woodcock. He's blocked. That's the gets it back. They're driving in. Open man number 23 on the perimeter baseline. Three, three uh, point jumper misses off the rim. Cindy brings it back quickly. Gets the man open by Ateneo. It's back quickly. Number 14 picks up a shot and then misses off the rebound. Ateneo coming back to the rim. 23 uh, off the perimeter. Feeds it inside. Number three is open for a baseline three-pointer that misses the basket. Ateneo gets it back. Defense to drive it in. And Amos. 44-28. Ateneo with the lead. 122 left in the half. Three-point attempt by Sydney that goes off the rim. Ateneo brings it back quickly. Ateneo is bringing it back really quick. Open man on the rim. Andre Bungo. 46-28, one minute left in the half. And there's a foul. Number two, Kyle Yamber. So Matthew Waka has a two shot. Last shot. Right. Final shot. Open. Open. Go on, read it if it's low first. Yeah. And it bounces out of the basket. Ateneo gets the rebound. Now they're bringing it back down. 56 seconds left in the half. That's Gamber with the ball. Feeds it to Nieto. Bongo. And another three. Oh, and it's Oh, it's Samos on three pointer. 49 29 at the nail lead over Sydney. 43 seconds left in the first half. Sydney with the ball. They'd like to see a three pointer to end the game. And they have a man open. He drives in. Blocked by Ateneo. Foul call. And that was a foul action by Sydney. And it's a timeout call. 18 seconds left. Ateneo 49, Sydney 29. So very fast 
fast-paced game right now. Ateneo uh, dominating, not making as many mistakes perhaps as Sydney, but uh, there are a lot of bad passes. Um, so not over yet, that's for sure. We'll see what kind of strategies the coaches come up with during the halftime break. But Sydney will have to do something with uh, Ateneo's quickness, it looks like. Uh, Ateneo, Ateneo moves very, very fast back uh, when, if they lose a uh, rebound, but uh, they also do some very, very quick, fast breaks into the basket. <laughs> Their center, Joseph Obasa, number 25, uh, is pretty much dominating the boards at 205 centimeters. So they're going to have to figure out what to do about that situation as well. Ateneo inbounding, 18 seconds left. And they're going to try to bring it down for quickly and set up the last few seconds for a final shot. Sydney almost steals the ball. They do succeed in turning the ball over. Uh, Ateneo turning the ball over, so uh, Sydney now will inbound it with 10 seconds left. 10 seconds remaining in the first half. Ateneo for uh, Sydney 29. See what they have set up for their final shot. Oh! Robbie Moore tries to uh, lay it up inside, but it's blocked. Five seconds left, it's still Sydney's ball. We'll see who breaks free or tries to uh, get out for a three-pointer. And it goes to Joshua Payne off the rim. And that's it for the half. Ateneo, 49, Sydney, 29. And uh, that's the uh, first half for the final game today. We're going to be back in the second half, so uh, hang out with us. Let's see how this turns out. We're having a lot of fun here. WBS 2023.
WUBS2023 from Tokyo, Japan. How y'all doing? We are back. Game number four today. Ateneo from the Philippines against Sydney, University of Sydney, Australia. So, uh, let's see what happened uh, through the first half. We've got some uh, point totals here. For Ateneo, played a very, very strong first half. Uh, number six, uh, Kuhn with eight points. As expected, number uh, seven, Credo with 10. And uh, Amos, number 20 on the center, with 12 points. Very well-rounded team. And then Sydney, uh, we've got Michael Yoon with five, Robert Moore with six, Matthew Watcher with six, and Mike Mitchell Smith with seven. Mitch Smith with seven. So uh, that's the uh, breakout for the uh, points from the first half. And we're getting ready to uh, break into the third quarter here. Ateneo 49, Sydney 29, and here we go. Ateneo's going to uh, bring the ball in bounds. And let's get in some exciting second half action here. And Ateneo starts off with uh, the ball in their position. We're going to Kuhn, passing around, almost lost the ball. Number 13, Gomez, works it to Kuhn again. And we got a man open, he's covered quickly. Three point. Oh. Right on the back, Ateneo scores a three point shot. Andrew Bongo. And now Sydney trying to work the ball in. In the perimeter, work in the perimeter. Works it to you. And the ball is stolen. The pass is stolen. Ateneo brings it down. Baseline three pointer misses off the rim. And Sydney brings it back. Looks like Sydney's trying to pick up the pace a little bit. Trying to match Ateneo's speed and get back. And two points for Sydney. That's Matthew Watcher. He was one of the players uh, to look for in the first half. And I think it's just up on his game for the second half to uh, really get Sydney going with their point production. And after that, works it in. Gets the rebound and makes the leg. Ateneo's working a wonderful inside game. Quick pass to Sydney to work it in. Bad pass, out of bounds, out of bounds. Out of Steals the ball, brings it down quickly, one on one. Hey. And in the lane, and the foul. They also the point counts. How about that? Number 12, Mitchell Watcher. Mitchell Watcher. So I guess he's really, uh, yeah, hopefully he's stepping up his game to make it um, a more productive quarter. Anyway, the third quarter for Sydney. One shot foul. And it's good. At the near 54, Sydney 34, 8 and 11 left in the third quarter. At the near brings it down. Works the perimeter. Perimeter. Trying to uh, find the lane inside. Finds a man at the front line. Bad pass. Sydney gets it back. Nice bounce pass. Inside. Works it back out. Trying to find an open man. There's Mikey Yoon. Gets into some trouble, and Ateneo steals the ball. So that's something we saw in the first half as well. There's some uh, misses by Sydney that's cost him. Ateneo working at the perimeter. Pre perimeter looking at the Kuhn. And Sydney steals the ball as they try to pass it to the perimeter. Oh! A little bit of a collision there. No foul call. Baseline three-pointer misses off the rim. Sydney still in possession of the ball. Newton trying to drive it in, passes it out. Gets it out to Moore. Brings it back in. Smith is open in the perimeter, but he misses a three-pointer. Ateneo back with the ball, bringing it back down quickly. 
So it looks like Sydney's really trying to pick up their pace or at least match the quickness of that tomato, which hurt him in the first half. Three point attempt off the rim. And that's a two point shot by Ateneo, by Lunge. Ateneo is differently uh, finding more shooters open to take their two or three point shots, so that's making a big difference. And that's time of position violation. Ateneo will end down. A couple of substitutions, and now Ateneo with the ball. Double team, but that leaves wide open for a three point shot, and it's good. Kai Balunga. 59 Ateneo, Sydney 34. Six minutes left in the third quarter. We got a substitution for Sydney. So Alexander Sidhu comes in for Sydney. He's at the Michael Young. Trying to drive in, but it's blocked. Underneath number 21, Green tried to uh, drive it in for a layup. Alley oop by Ateneo. That's uh, blocked. The pass is blocked. Sydney gets it back. Kind of looking back quickly, but Ateneo is back quickly as well. Nice inside feed to number seven, and he's six, six, six. no foul, no foul. Michael Yoon uh, was blocked and stole the ball away. Ateneo comes back quickly, wide open in the perimeter. Number one once again by Lugay with a three-pointer. 62 Ateneo, Sydney 34. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Sydney trying to, trying to get something going. Uh, they're going to need to score points with consistency. Uh, trying to stop Ateneo's offense. And a three point attempt off the rim. Bounces back out. Ateneo with the ball. So Sydney looks like uh, their inside game is not quite working. They're running into each other. At the day, LeBron trying to uh, work, find a place uh, to keep the ball, find somebody open. And a very good pass game that just got stolen. Sydney dri quickly driving in, but at the is back to set up the defense. Sydney working the perimeter, trying to find an open man or lane. Shot taken by Sidhu. Three pointer attempt. Misses. Ateneo back. Passing the ball around, trying to find an open man. Ateneo works screens very, very well. There's always an open man somewhere. Very effective. And beautiful inside pass. Beautiful inside pass. And here's a time I call. Sydney. Yeah, need a timeout here for sure uh, before Ateneo runs away with it. 3.54 left in the third quarter. Ateneo 64, Sydney 34. Game four, WUBS 2023. And uh, the first day, she's seen some very, very uh, exciting play, good games. We'll be back for more uh, action tomorrow, and Sunday will be the finals. Love to see you here. Come on out and see us. Brought to you by Sang Florella. Once again, we are here at the Yoyogi Na Yo -Yo Park National Gymnasium, right across the street from Yoyogi -Yo Park, and also uh, Meiji Jingu. Uh, please come see us. We're at the number two gymnasium. Number one gymnasium, of course, was built for the 1964 Olympics. So it's a landmark area. Um, we'd love to have you come out and see us. We're here until Sunday. Time's up for time out, and we're going to continue third quarter play, game four, day one, WUBS 2023. So Ateneo has a commanding lead right now, so 
a quarter and about four minutes left for Sydney to try to uh, fight back and uh, get something going here for them offensively. They're getting their opportunities, but not quite being able to uh, finish it with a basket. And it's a tough drive in, but it's blocked. Obasa is a very uh, formidable center and very effective. It's a nice block shot and rebound as well. Yeah. 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 the ball. Obasa works his way in, passes to the perimeter. So Sydney's starting to show a, a little bit of a sticky defense here. And if they can keep that up, hold Ateneo down while they score some points, this could be interesting once again. And a timeout, Ateneo. 3.18 left in the third quarter. Ateneo 64, Sydney 34. So we're through with uh, three games today. We're still having some wonderful turnouts. This is a uh, the first holiday of the long Obon holiday here in Japan, Friday. And then uh, some of the, some lucky folks who have timed their day off right uh, will get up to about 10 days off. And it's a yearly ritual. A lot of families go back to their hometowns. Uh, a lot of people don't want to face the crowd, so they'll stay in Tokyo. So if you are here in Tokyo, come see us here at uh, Yoyogi Takaka number two. We'd love to have you here. All right, 3.18 left in the third quarter. Final game of the day between Ateneo from the Philippines and Sydney from the University of Sydney. We've had some wonderful uh, halftime breaks, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. There are concessions here. There are some WUBS goods, so come on out and enjoy yourself in a nice, cool uh, gymnasium here as uh, some wonderful basketball is going on all day long. And now it's Sydney with the ball. And that's number 11 trying to work and find a, an open man. Trying to drive the ball in, goes back out to the perimeter. And a nice twisting move in center, but he loses the ball. That's a nail, working it back down. Passing the ball around the perimeter, trying to uh, do their offensive strategy of screens and getting the man open for that open shot. Six seconds left on the shot clock. He's got to put it up, and there is a three-point attempt that's off the rim. Sydney's trying to come back quickly, but not quick enough. Ateneo is really good at getting back in time for the defense. And that's the spike. It looked like it might have been a trap, but it's like there's a foul call here. Hey, three, so that was a foul on number 12, Andrew Waka. Fouled by number three, Bongo, Andrew Bongo. One shot foul. Oh, in and out of the basket. Up and down the rebound. Obasa, once again, strong under the board. And now uh, Ateneo once again doing their strategy, working it around with good passes, We're waiting to find the open man. Oh, no time for that. That's a three-pointer. Once again, uh, that's Paul Garcia for Ateneo. Sydney now back on the working. Heavily guarded by Ateneo, who steals the ball. Can't be having that. Another three-point attempt. Ah, the which goes in for three-point. Seven, the Ateneo, Sydney, 36. So Sydney's got to be careful because Ateneo's kind of running away with it with a minute 30 left in the third quarter. And, oh, Sydney's getting a lot of back race, a lot of in and out of the basket. 
And that was a layup attempt that should have gone in, but that was back out of the basket. 127 left in the third quarter. Seven to Anthony. And we've got another substitution for Sydney. And now Atnale has got the ball again. Trying to, Sydney's trying to pressure him a little bit about the half court line. About uh, into Obasa underneath. Back out to the perimeter. Number three, wide open for a free throw shot. And Obasa that misses. So Sydney is uh, trying to bring it back quickly. But Atnale is so bad getting back on defense. Sydney's got to be a lot quicker than that. Trying to work it in. Attempt to lay up. They get the rebound, and there's a foul. Wow. So Henry Anderson was fouled as he got the rebound and tried to take a hard shot, so he's going to take the foul shot. Fouled by number 23, Ron Two shot foul, first shot. Short. We made 70 36 with 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Second shot. And that's off as well. Obasa gets a rebound. Ateneo is bringing it back now, of course. They're in no hurry. They're uh, going to work their offensive style once again. Screens, trying to get a man open. Feeds it to Obasa. Back out to 21. He's wide open for a three uh, shot. So he just misses. Sydney tries to bring it back down. Once again, Ateneo is back and set on their defense. Sydney is trying to drive it in, trying to draw the foul, and it works there. Foul by Obasa, number 25. We have a man down. Took a hard fall. We'll see uh, how he goes. Hopefully he's okay. So Mikey Young comes back in. Uh, Joshua Payne was the one who took the ball. But it looks like the foul was on number 21, Camel Green, who's going to take the foul shot. I'm sorry, that's number 20, Henry Anderson. And the foul shot missed. Sydney's missing a lot of foul shots as well. You've got to make those shots when you're down. Second shot. And that's off the rim as well. Sydney gets the rebound, works it out to the perimeter. Sydney trying to set something up to get a man free. Number 12 tries to drive in and he makes it. And Matthew, watch out once again. Their uh, top scorer and the strongest player on the team drives in for a layup in a lot of traffic. And another uh, ooh, perimeter shot by number three, Bongo, that goes in and out of the basket. That's it for the third quarter. Wow. Ateneo, 7 in Sydney, 38, end of the third quarter. So, uh, yeah, at, um, Sydney really has to bounce back because Ateneo's getting ready to run away with this fourth and final game today, day one of WUBS Series 2023. Wow. Looking at some uh, scoring here. We've got uh, uh, Balunga for Ateneo with 13 points, Credo with 10, and uh, yes, Amos with 15 points. Wow, uh, he's doing really, really well. And then uh, going to Sydney, we've got Michael Yoon with five, and as well as uh, Joshua Payne. And uh, yeah, Matthew Waka is their uh, biggest scorer with 15 points, by far the uh, best scorer on the team. Mike, Mitch Smith with seven, and Robert Moore with six points. So Ateneo is so balanced with their scoring and with their defense. Uh, Sydney is a little bit lacking in that balance, especially in scoring. Uh, we need more, um, more scoring from the other players on the team. Can't just rely on one guy to do, do all the work. Uh, you see it on the screen there with the uh, point totals. Jason Credo with 10, Kai Belinda with 13, and then Chris Green with 8, Gio Chu with 6. 
for Ateneo. Mesa Ramos 15, Caibalunga 13, Jason Cueto with 10. Ateneo is uh, more evenly um, spread out in their scoring. 17 to 38, Ateneo was a lead over Sydney. Going into the fourth quarter, the final fourth game today. Now, once again, Tokyo and Japan especially is uh, all about basketball this month with the W uh, the World Cup of Basketball coming up later on this month uh, here in Japan. But right now we've got the WUBS World University Basketball Series 2023 going on right here at Yoyogi National Gymnasium number two. And now we're getting ready to start the fourth and final quarter, game four between Ateneo of the Philippines and Sydney of Australia. And Sydney will inbound. Number three, Andrew Bongo. Number three, Kiram Siba, I'm sorry, uh, he inbound the ball. And now Sydney, we'll see if they have a different game plan for the fourth quarter. They're still trying to uh, leave the lane open for somebody to drive in. That was Mitch Smith there trying to uh, drive in, but lost the ball. And now Ateneo will inbound. So it goes to Nieto who brings it down quickly. Passes to Obasa. And yep, they're sticking with their uh, game plan. Screens. Running around trying to get free, which is working very effectively. And, but he loses the ball and it goes to Sydney who will bring it in. John Lucas. Woodcock brings the ball in, feeds it to Mike Yoon. Back to Wacha. Who drives in, cut, and finds the man open in the perimeter. And number seven, Yoon tries to take a uh, foul line shot, but this is off the rim. And Ateneo is back, driving back into uh, to score if they can get a man open. Working the ball. Be screens and get a man open. It goes to Obasa at the top of the three point line. Number 10 drives in for a beautiful 10 foot layup. And that's two points. Robbie Moore. Johnny Lucas, Robbie Moore um, in the game and trying to be very effective. And Sean Tuono, number 10, is in the game and uh, scored the two points. Uh. Foul call. Number 14, Mitch Smith uh, called for the foul. And that wasn't a shooting foul. After the gets the ball, brings it in. And loses the ball. Sydney now gets the ball back. And that was Bongo who uh, lost the ball, kind of dropped it and drove it outside. Sydney now coming back. 8.21 left in the fourth quarter, left in the game. No basket. Foul call, and there's a substitution for Ateneo as well. So Obasa goes out and Kai Balungo is back in, number one for Ateneo. In the inbound. Finds a man open. In. Oh, he was wide open, but missed the layup. Mitch Smith. Ateneo bringing it back down. He's it to Gomez, looking for a man. Oh. And we have a traveling call. Number 13, Gavin Gomez. Kind of did a stutter step there, trying to find a man open. Sydney will bring it in. Mikey Young bring it in. He's a Duato. Get the screen. Finds a man open, drives it in. And once again, it's in and out on a drive by Robbie Moore. Ateneo back now. They're very effective high post game. Yeah. Oh, and there's a foul. Number 12. 
And Mason Amos, oh, number 21, was fouled, and he'll be taking a foul shot. Two foul shots. And that bounces out of the rim. Misses the first of a two-shot foul. Second shot coming up. As the uh, coach uh, gives some instructions from the sideline. Second shot. And that also bounces out of the basket. Sydney now back, trying to get, uh, get some points going. It looks like Sydney is trying to drive into the lane, which really hasn't been working that well, not that effective, especially with the uh, tall defense of that nail. Another shot attempt off the rim. Tries to put it back up, it's off the rim again. As Anil gets the ball back and is working it back down. So absolutely, I think the game plan is working and more effective than Sydney's by far. They have the height and the discipline to do a high pace game. And a great under the basket layup by Ateneo, number 21, Mason Amos. 74, Ateneo, 30 at Sydney, with 644 left in the game. Ateneo with the ball once again. Number three, Andrew Bongo, working it in. Goes to Gomez. Back down to Juano. Almost loses it. Manages, oh, manages to pass it. This is a three-point shot. And now Sydney is trying to drive it back in again quickly. Finds a man open. Baseline. Three point to come on. And that was Robbie Moore, number 11, with that three-pointer. 41, Sydney, 74. Nail. Six minutes left in the game. Nail, three-point shot. Oh. And the whistle was blown before the shot. And that was a, a foul on Wacha, number 12. And it was a foul on number 13, Gab Gomez. Six oh six left in the game. That's about a 33-point differential we're looking at right now. First shot. Good. One shot foul and made good with a Gab Gomez. Coach Garland doesn't look too happy. Atenea, uh, so that was a technical, technical foul. Ateneo brings it back in again. Works it out to the perimeter for a three-point shot, and he's fouled. It didn't look like the shot was going to go in anyway, but uh, number 10, Sean Tuano, is fouled. First shot, good. It looks like the foul was made by number nine, Johnny Woodcock. Good shot. Second shot. <laughs> Sean Tuano, number 10, 188 centimeter guard. And it drops in. Last shot. Final shot. And that's good, making it 78 41 with. Just under six minutes left. Substitution. Alexander Sidhu is back in the game. He takes it from Jung, gives it back to him. Jung looks it up the court. Once again, to try to find a man inside, puts the layup, which misses. Ateneo gets the rebound. Gets it back quickly, works the perimeter. Oh, 
And Sydney knocks it out of bounds. Ateneo will, Ateneo will remain, retain the possession. And we've got a timeout, Ateneo. 5.38 left in the game. Ateneo 78, Sydney 41. So we're seeing a lot of uh, missed passes, obviously missed shorts by Sydney. Uh, missed shots by Sydney and then Ateneo uh, very, playing a very, very strong strategy. Uh, working the high point and uh, working passes around the perimeter until they find a man open. And they are popping in a lot of three pointers and that's making a lot of difference. Sydney trying to drive in a lot or trying to open up the lane, but it's just not working with the high fence, defensive fence of uh, Ateneo. So we're down to uh, the last five and a half minutes of the day. We'll see how uh, exciting we can get the last five and a half minutes here for the uh, crowd here at the gymnasium. So it's been great having you all hang out with us today. Thank you very much. Don't forget we are back tomorrow. Starting to get into some semifinals and finals action tomorrow and Sunday. So uh, I guess please do come back and see us. If you're in town, come see us in person. We'd love to have you here. And at the nail, we'll inbound. Kyle Gamber will uh, bring the ball inside, inbound. And uh, we'll see who breaks free. Oh, and it's a bad pass. Sydney gets it, drives in one on one, passes it off for a layup, and it's good. And that's uh, number eight, Alex Sidhu. At the nail now, trying to get back in. Working the perimeter, number two Gamble, passes it to Tuano. He drives in, puts the shot up, and bounces off the rim, and he gets it back. Trying to move it back down quickly. And also driving the lane, trying to draw a foul, but that's not a white draw a foul. Ball goes out of bounds, Ateneo ball. Five minutes left, 78 Ateneo, Sydney 43. Ateneo bringing the ball in. By Balunga, playing the foul, ball in two, number 10 to one. Shot off the backboard. And Sydney now with the ball. Almost stolen by Ateneo. Goes out of bounds. Sydney will get it. Sydney brings the ball in. Passes it to you. Goes to Moore in the perimeter. Into Green inside. And there's a foul. So that's what they've been trying to do this whole time. They have been drawing the fouls. But he does this time, so 21 will take a two, uh, two shot foul. Two foul shot. First shot. Is off the rim. And that's something else. Sydney has missed a lot of foul shots today. 439 left in the game. Final shot. Ateneo repositions for the rebound. Campbell Green, six to second shot. 78-44, 439 remains. And Ateneo makes a substitution. So Gomez at the top of the uh, three-point area, passes it back out, and it's good. Sean Tuano. Sydney. Doing some uh, perimeter passing. Takes the uh, three-point shot. Oh, off the rim. Goes back to more. Loses the uh, ball out of bounds. Ball going to Ateneo. Ateneo now bringing the ball back, trying to uh, work their game plan again. 
They're sticking with what works. Can't blame them. Three point attempt in and out of the basket. Sydney trying to get back quickly. Trying to get some more points on the board. Three point from the baseline in and out of the basket. And that's been a story for uh, Sydney all night long. That. And there's another one. And this one drops for the other one. They would uh, like to have seen a lot more of those balls drop in just like that one did, but a lot of them have been bouncing out of the basket. At the nail, working the perimeter, perimeter again. They're patient, trying to get that man open. And there he is, once again, a man wide open for a three-pointer. Who sits in, once again, uh, number 10, Sean Toronto. Sydney drives in, finds the man in the perimeter, takes the ball, working it around. And a three-point attempt by Robbie Moore once again, bounces off the rim. After now with the ball now, bringing it back. 2.48 left. 8.47. Attempt to uh, double team him, he passes it off to an open man. Almost moves up, he does lose the ball, and goes to Sydney. Substitutions. Two players in for both teams. So, Matthew Marshall comes back in for Sydney. They need him, that's for sure. And Sydney inbounds the ball. Watcher on the sideline, on the baseline. Working for a feed, working the perimeter. Hume drives in, attempts to lay up, but misses. Rebound goes to the nail. Got a man wide open, a couple men wide open. Once again, working the perimeter. Oh! And gets the rebound. Layup. And that's Andrew Bongo getting the rebound and laying it up for another two points. 86 47. Two minutes left in the game. Sydney, once again trying to drive in. Doesn't quite get there. Cross court pass. Loses it and it's at the nail ball. That's another uh, issue with Sydney. Trying to force too many passes, it looks like. At the nail. Used, working their usual perimeter game. Finds a man open. Wide open in the baseline. Oh, in and out of the basket. And that's uh, Paul Garcia trying to uh, get that three pointer. Garcia now. Working in, drives in, finds a man underneath, who finds the baseline jumper open. Off the rim by Sean Tuano. Sean Tuano's had a kind of a hot hand the fourth quarter. Sydney now working the perimeter this time. We'll see who cut drive in, which is their usual uh, method here. Pops it out to the perimeter for a baseline three pointer. Michael, watch out, of course. Nope. I'm sorry about that. That was number eight, Alexander Sidhu, with that three pointer. That's an nail with the ball. Come on. Brings it inside, takes it back outside. Too much traffic in underneath. Foul shot. Good. Oh, that was Kyle again. 35 seconds left. Fourth quarter. Ateneo 88, Sydney 50. Fourth and final game today, the first day of the WUBS 2023 tournament. Sydney inbounds. 35 seconds left. And he drives in for a shot. Once again, it's off the rim. Doesn't go in. Get the rebound. Once again, off the rim. Now Ateneo has the ball. 24 seconds left. Credo brings it down. And it looks like that's going to be the game. Coming down 8, 7, 6. Ateneo, 88. Sydney, 50. And that's the game. So, oh, wait a minute. We have 1.4 seconds left. What's going on here? 
A little bit of confusion on the court. Everybody thought the game was over. And there is 1.6 seconds now left in the game still, it looks like. Uh, we don't know what happened there. I think somebody uh, tried to end the game before the uh, referees were willing to end the game. And they're trying to work out uh, what happened here. And it looks like uh, we are going to play the last 1.6 seconds of the game. Both of the coaches were on the other side uh, trying to congratulate people. And now that's it. Now the game is finally over. A little bit of confusion there at the end. Ateneo 88, Sydney 50. And that's it for today, the fourth and final game. Uh, kind of one-sided, although uh, Sydney really fought back. Ateneo, very, very strong. So uh, they could kind of uh, continue on into the finals if they keep playing at this rate. Very well-balanced team, good height, good shot percentages, uh, excellent defense. They're fast, they're very fast which is uh, one of the characteristics of this tournament uh, with a lot of Asian teams represented as well. Uh, we'd love to see Ateneo play with somebody like uh, the team from Virginia. Uh, so we will see how it goes. So thanks a lot for hanging out with us today. Don't forget we are back for lots more basketball action tomorrow and Sunday. We are here at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium number two. Come see us and if you're tuning in from around the world, Thanks for having us, and uh, yeah, lots more exciting basketball coming up, and we'd love to have you here. Uh, my name is DJ John. It's been great, and uh, I will be back tomorrow along with uh, my partner Matthew, and uh, we will bring you some more action, live action, basketball action from Tokyo, Japan. So sayonara, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you again tomorrow and Sunday. Hey, stay cool, have a lot of fun, stay healthy. Bye-bye.